Hello, hello and welcome, welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox, on the Series X for a look at something you can do with the sensor. Uh, a while ago somebody asked me, is it possible to make an auto brake system for a vehicle? Can you tie a sensor to a cockpit? And originally you couldn't because we didn't have the correct um, triggers on the cockpit but one of the updates ago Keen actually added the ability for our sensors to trigger both the handbrake and the parking brake on a cockpit on a vehicle so it's now possible to make a little auto stop system for your vehicle so that you don't run into your best friend or a person as you're maneuvering your truck about or whatever you could create this to stop the truck if anyone gets anywhere near it but we're going to do this um, fairly simply i'm still getting my voice back after not being very well but if we go over here we can see my test vehicle known as the chonky rover this is my little tractor like chonky rover that I've had for a while. And pop the thrusters on, unlock it, and we're going to drop it down onto the pad. Turn the thrusters off. And we'll just drive chonky over here, like so. Just give us some space to work with. And We'll put the handbrake on for the time being. So, first things first. It's time to set up a little sensor at the front. So, if we press in the left stick and flick through until we get to the advanced systems. And you'll see that our sensors, the base sensor and the automaton sensor are in this list. So let's just go for the base sensor. And if you look at the base sensor, you can see there's a little arrow on it now. Um, didn't used to be there. So what we used to do was we just align the sensor like this to match its picture and also to make that kind of robotic smiley face. And that's our sensor. What we want to do though is we want to visualize the sensor field. So if we go into the control panel by pressing X on the sensor, we can then put show on HUD. And then if we use the right trigger and tap it across until we reach show sensors field range. And there we have it. You can see that that is the sensor's field range. I'm not going to be overly bothered about reversing into people at the moment. For this, you can set it up to cover both front and back. But what we want to do, first of all, is set the field. So we want, by holding down the right bumper and tapping left on the D-pad, to bring this field in to about 1.5. Same with the right extent. 1.5 should do it. And you can see it coming in. The bottom extent, um, you'll probably get away with 1.5 there or two. Oops, went a bit far. Three. The top extent, let's bring that all the way down. We don't want that too far. Um, again, 1.5, probably bring that down a bit more. Let's have a look what we've got. Yeah, that should cover it. So when anything moves into that field there, 
it will trigger the first action on the sensor and when it comes out of the field it will trigger the second action on a sensor so your first action we're going to use is first of all we're going to set up the sensor so that the sensor detects players ignore this for now it detects the owner yep friendlies yeah neutrals yeah um, you don't want it to stop when it detects an enemy so turn that one off so looking at the field basically if anything enters that field at all at the side or anywhere we want it to do the following pop open the sensor again and choose set of actions come down to the cockpit and then choose your first action as park on off and your second action as handbrake on off because you can't trigger another park on off it'd be nice if the cockpit actually had separate actions for handbrake on handbrake off park on park off and you can hear that noise that's the parking brake going on and when I walk out the handbrake removes the parking brake and to test it we're going to come over here let's make sure I've got enough room you might have to adjust the front field maybe double the size depending on how long it takes for the brake to engage based on the speed but if it's a truck type thing it shouldn't be going too fast and then we hold down the right bumper tap Y and go to you'll be on the admin tools menu to begin with so use this menu here use this menu option to come down to replay tool and we want to add character and there's our little space engineer here so if we then click change character we've now got two engineers so if we align our engineer here and bring open that menu again onto the admin screen rb and y change character we've now got our test engineer and our driver here so we jump in the cockpit you see that the field is still there our handbrake parking brake is off we accelerate towards our little friend here and parking brake is engaged and you notice that it does take a little bit for it to stop in front of our engineer But we are not going to move off this spot now with the parking brake on. So that is essentially how it works. I said before, if you want to change the sensor field, go back into your um, control panel, go to your sensor, choose front and push your front extent out if you want double take it all the way to 10 and as i said before you don't have to use the d-pad and the bumpers you can press a again on this get a fine tune wheel and finally press a once more and just type in the number you want in this case 10 press x to confirm it come out of this and you'll see that 
we now have 10 meters so oh, right let's just quickly change character again move our friend out of the way stand him in front of the field again change character back and you'll see that the break is off and then we accelerate towards our friend parking engaged I say this works best um, for trucks and things like that that have a specific kind of field uh, or a kind of specific kind of speed a low speed vehicles best it's not going to work very well with a high speed vehicle although it might if you put the field to the right distance and just to do things again and I always forget to do this I'll stop that for the time being. We change to our character. Move out the way. Change back again. And the vehicle is free to move. And the moment that it see it, the low speed detects a person it will stop there you are that is pretty much how to make a sensor operated field to stop a vehicle from colliding with a person very good as i said for trucks and slow moving vehicles you can also bring that back extent out to generate a reverse so that you don't accidentally run someone over from the rear and to do that dead simple just pop open our sensor look at the back extent and put the number in there's your field front and back and that pretty much brings me to the end of this little tutorial on how to use a sensor to control the vehicle's parking and handbrake to stop you running into your friends or to neutrals and something just a nice little simple thing to play around with hopefully you'll find some use for it thank you very much for the support the likes the subscribes uh, for the last three or so years it's been uh, quite a ride and uh, it still continues i will eventually get um starfield on here i've been focused more on space engineers obviously because that is my prime thing but i will be doing some stuff with no man's sky and starfield as i start to um, ramp up my content creation again after not being very well until then though stay safe take care have fun enjoy the game loads more to come from keen software and loads more to come from me until then happy engineering bye for now